All right, people. So, deck profile for BES Monarch. So, uh, I guess it was kind of a troll. Uh, previous month, uh, one of the decks on there was BES, and then people voted for it and ended up being on there. And BES really is an archetype. It's like seven monsters that are like all the same thing. Like they, I think they have two or three monsters that are literally the same exact effect. And then like this continuous spell that's garbage. So, overall, it's not too hot, right? So. Uh, there's not much to do with it. They're all level 6 and higher, and they all pretty much tribute-based. They get their effects in normal summons, so I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Summon with Monarchs. Let's go, you know? And uh, it worked out fairly well, you know? Taking these kind of eh decks that uh, were placed on the previous months from Daily Duels and then slapping them with some meta actually created some powerful shit. So, uh, yeah, BES Monarchs. It worked out fairly well, so I'll go into detail about the deck, my choices I made, and etc, etc. Uh, there's no extra deck, of course, because I'm still for the whole domain lock you out of the extra deck because I have no extra deck. It, it's pretty power, you know? Plus, I didn't really feel like trying to do any extra deck Monarch shenanigans in here. It's just tribute, attack, get resources, set up plays, all that great shit. So, anyway, uh, despite being the BES deck, we're only running five BES, because, like I said, the, the other BES, they're really repetitive. Like, they're pretty much all the same. Normal summon, get three counters, can't be destroyed by battle. If it attacks or attack, remove a counter. If it has no counters, destroy itself. You know, they pretty much all say that, and it sucks. It sucks. There's actually one, uh, I think it's, like, Big Core something. Uh, yeah, I think it's just Big Core that, uh, it says, if this card battles in a a monster remove a counter. So I was running this, and I was like, oh, yeah. But then, even when I attack, like, directly, I would still remove a counter because I believe it's, it was translated incorrectly on here or something like that, or that's the OCG, or we're going off the OCG, where it, if it attacks or attacks even directly, I remove a counter. So, like I said, it's just all the same shit, you know? Normal summon, put three counters, remove a counter. Normal, you know, if you control a monster, you normal summon to attribute, place three counters, all that good shit. You know, it's just, just the same fucking shit. He's actually not that bad, but I don't need him because I have monarchs. But they're all, it's just the same shit. And it's just, just BES this, BES that, BES, 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 see? You get their crappy little continuous cells. So, like, oh, you can't normal summon reset. And BES, you summon another one. It's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Who cares, you know? Same thing, same thing. It's like, uh, I think one, like, switches attack position, one pops in back row, then the biggest one uh, can save itself from room encounter. And this guy, if you could turn on monsters, you could normal summon this card out of tribute. This guy wouldn't be bad. Like, if I would change anything, I'd throw him in there, but like I said, he's just another BES. So, anyway, we are running triple of the BES uh, Tetran. And the reason why he's a little bit different than all the other BES or BS that I had to go through with all these monsters is, uh, once per turn, I can move one counter to pop a spell or trap on the field. So, he has a zero jewel, three counters, save himself, but if I have no counters, I'm just popped. But he can also pop backwards, though, so I get to actually do something with the damn counter besides just save my ass. You know, I could run the Book of the uh, not even Book of Moon, just to, uh, you can target a face up attack position monster and put up a face down, I mean, face up defense position. So I just go, ah, you're in defense mode. Now I attack you. So I move a counter to put you in defense mode, then I move a counter to even fucking attack you. So, eh. You know, at least he pops some background. And you know me, I love me some background popping, so that's pretty good. We run two of the uh, covered core. Uh, the covered core is pretty good because, of course, you have these shenanigans. We can bust out, you know, uh, two tribute monsters with ease. You know, you just go idos. I mean, idea summon idos. Idos will give you additional uh, tribute summon summon covered core. So pretty good. Uh, twenty five hundred. So you know, he's the big beater of the group, but. Uh, I would definitely say if you're gonna run BES, you should probably run him too, because uh, he's sick, so it's one tribute, 24, and uh, you could summon him if you, uh, not summon him if you, without a tribute, if you control no monsters, but then he's not tribute summoned, so yeah, he's okay, but I, 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 I'd run him. Uh, you flip a coin, you call it right, you keep your counter. If not, move the counter, but he only starts off with two, so that's the difference, but. Uh, so you're probably like, why the fuck would you ever do anything with this? Like, this is dumb. Like, okay, they can't be destroyed by battle. They can still be destroyed by like, They can still be targeted. They can still be fucked up. So what do you do? I'll get that. Anyway, uh, so these are the, the cords. You know, like I said, I'd probably run this too if I actually ran them correctly and had room to fix them. But it, it worked out okay. Uh, maybe maybe take out the S there. I, I just really wanted to get Ido, uh, I mean, Erebus quicker. So that's why I ran her, but you probably don't need her when it comes to the deck. You could probably just run, you know, the rest of these, take this out, run some of this, and then, you know, maybe move one of these cards, maybe this, or, or, uh, or this, or something. But yeah, or this, you know, cut it, and then run two to three of these. 
Anyway, three Erebus. I mean, it's still a Monarch deck. He's probably one of the best Monarchs being able to go ahead and non-target spin something on your opponent's hand or field back to the graveyard by setting two. You know, send that up. Prime, send that pan Pantheism, then go to town. So, yeah. I said, I just read in the Aether just to pretty much summon the the Erebus, and then it goes in my hand. I could use it for later. So, up the consistency of me getting that Erebus, because sometimes there were a couple duels where I never got that freaking Erebus, and I was like, God, I'm not doing shit. So, yeah, uh, that's the only reason why I ran her. I'm not the biggest fan of Aether. I think she's kind of annoying when it comes to playing against Monarchs, and, you know, her summon effect, especially since I'm not playing any, like, Kraws or anything, it's just kind of eh. So, yeah. But just, just the up the consistency of getting uh, Erebus. But you could probably take her out and run some big core MK2. If you're going to run the B, uh, uh, BES mark or any shenanigans of the fifth. I say, I mean, the deck profile's here. You can go ahead and take it and do whatever you want the deck. I seriously doubt you want to play it, but still. Uh, I'm a big fan of three idols and three idea. I think that they work fine together. I'd rather have them than not have them. I don't like the two, three, or the two, two, or none of that. I'm like, no. I want idea. I want idols, especially in this deck. You know, with some six tributes, when uh, you're running terrain and you're going to be running big core, you can just simply just summon idols, give you a different tribute. I mean, tribute for a, a, a BES. So there's a couple more uh, level six is in this deck, and therefore you can uh, just do some pure idols plays. But idea, idols, I like them both at three. That's just how I feel. I feel more comfortable with them. And if I ever played Monarchs competitively, I'd probably do three of each because they're just so good. Like, they're one of the prime things that makes new Monarchs so good. Just their, their tribute assisting and grabbing back, summoning from the deck, search, uh, grabbing back a banish. It's just so good. Uh, I already talked about her. So, uh, 16 monsters. Not terrible. It's not terrible. By average uh, monster count. Uh, Rota, get that idea. You probably don't need to play this. I don't think they played Rota in Monarchs anymore, but I just wanted to make sure that I had it for you know, all these tribute monsters. I wanted to make sure that I had the idea play. Because Monarchs, I mean, they're Monarchs. They can open up like shit. Sometimes you can open up with all the tributers, that can open up with all the tributees, and then you're still not doing anything. So you need a nice combination of both. And, you know, it's, it's, it's like playing a Yvel deck. You need the senders, you need the rival. You need the tributers, you need tributees, and that's, that's just Monarchs for you. Uh, of course, we run triple. Pantheism is caught to be at one, but it's still at three, so you run triple, and it's stupid. Uh, Monarch Storm Force, so it works a lot better with these level sixes as well. You know, I'd gladly go ahead and Monarch Storm Force tribute your uh, shit for one of my BS monsters, because I can. Uh, the, literally, the best card in the BES, for BES, uh, uh, March of the Monarchs. So, tribute monsters you control cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Doesn't say by your opponent's card effects, by card effects, period. You know what destroys them by card effects? Their own effects. When they are out of counters, they get destroyed, right? They can't be destroyed by card effects. So pretty much, if you have a BES plus March, they cannot be targeted by uh, by card effects. They cannot be destroyed by card effects, and they can't be destroyed by battle. So, yeah. It's, it's like one of the best things that you could do with BES is run March. So, there you go. And if you want to run a pure BES deck, I would definitely recommend throwing in March, even without the marks. March. Uh, domain, knock you out of the extra deck, reduce the level. It's all good, like... Yeah, this card's power, this card's power. I, I understand how OCG hit these cards to one. I mean, come on. Too much Twisters, pop that back row. Triple, I love it. Pop pop back row, fuck it. Uh, we cannot run um, Tenacity in here. It's good to see, you know, we, we got him, we got her, and I was even thinking about, you know, taking her out of the deck, so it would pretty much just be him. That's not even nearly enough targets to reveal for Tenacity. So, uh, similar to uh, last month when I ran Earthbound Immortal, uh, Monarchs, and I was like, oh, I, I can't run Tenacity, I don't run enough Monarchs. Well, well, I really want Domain, I can run Terraforming. Same thing, you know, Terraforming, get that Domain, and do my play. So, there you go, so two Terraformings, three Field Spells. I think that's the correct ratio. Uh, you can always drop it down to one, you know, you can take this out, you can take this out, you can take these out. Like, there's a couple of things you can go ahead and move to, put the big core in if you want more BES in there. But, this card sucks, this card's mad, this card is already being played, this card's already being played. I'd say two, not three, it's cloggy at three. You know, you still want to do your big tribute summons for, like, uh, Erebus and stuff like that. And then the, uh, the big core does nothing, so. Uh, Vanities win the game. Just flip up Vanities win. You know, I, I've been stuck. I haven't been playing Vanities as much in decks uh, because I kind of find it boring, especially in tag. I'm like, Resident Sleepers is boring. Like, flip up Vanities and then your opponent doesn't do anything, you win. But for this deck, I'm, I'm just trying to be dirty there. You know, I'm playing fucking BES, so if I can summon a BES, flip up Vanities on your ass, and then win, then yay. Uh, I'm I'm still, for one, Prime. Probably the worst Monarch player ever, but I kind of feel like I don't want to ever see Prime in my hand. Like, I'm not for that. Like, 
why do I want to activate it and shuffle shit back? I want to dex in. I don't want to put cards back. I want them to be done. The quicker the cards are out of my deck, the quicker I can get to my other play. So I've never been a, a, a person who likes to play multiple prime. So if I were to play Monarch, you always see me play one prime. I send that one prime to the graveyard. I revive it. And that's pretty much it. And sometimes I don't even do that. You know, it's in the graveyard and it's always there for me to revive, but I never do. But I don't like doing multiple primes. I don't really care about its unfilled effect. So I just care about that grave effect. So then, of course, Solemn Morning and Solemn Strike. You know, despite being a modern deck, I still want to play that back row. I'm playing the BS's, stop your plays, and then proceed to win. Simple as that. So, uh, anyway, there is the BES Monarch deck, like I said. Uh, people probably voted on it to be trolls because they thought it was going to be so shitty and it ended up splashing with Monarchs turning out to be pretty good. So, that's what happens, you know. When you have these really flexible meta engines, you just go ahead and just throw some crap in and actually try and say, oh, pretty okay, pretty okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to call that a deck profile. So, if you haven't seen it already, the deck replacing it, which is probably another troll deck, which you guys believe is Skull Servants, you're like, oh, man. I mean, I'm, I bet some of you guys are like, all right, Skull Servants would be interesting, but I bet some of you guys are like, oh, Skull Servants, those are trash. Oh, he's going to get so mad. No, 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 I made the deck, and it's like in power. So, if you want to go ahead and uh, check it out, the video is already up. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. We're going to be doing the deck profile for Dragoonides, which, ironically, was one of the like, more inconsistent, weaker decks on uh, Daily Duels for the past month. And it shall be replaced with Tag with uh, some of that ABC Dragon Buster. So, going to be having some more uh, machine shenanigans with that. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, so, go ahead and take the deck, do whatever you want with it. And, uh, yeah, see you guys later with some more Daily Duels. Thanks for watching.